San Antonio Animal Care Services says it's cracking down on repeat dog bites, finding almost 400 properties with more than one bite or a bite and a citation. We know that ACS officials visited more than half of those owners in October. The News 4 I team's Jordan Elder spoke with interim ACS director Michael Shannon about this new program and the timing of its rollout. ACS visited more than 200 homes last month, checking in on animals with multiple bites. They found that some of those dogs had died, some families had moved, some were handed citations, and some were in full compliance. It's part of a new effort to try and prevent bites. We have seen issues with repeat bites for years now. Why did it take until right now to create a program like this? Well, I think we're always looking for ways uh, to improve, and what I've seen recently is just uh, a number of examples uh, just in the past couple months where, you know, looking at the data, we're seeing that irresponsible pet owners that are just not learning to create that safe environment for their neighbors. So uh, we put our heads together, try to come up with something a, a little bit more proactive, and we just started to get this new program started. As I mentioned to the, to the council members is uh, we're going to figure out what the results are going to look like uh, and then present those to see if that should be a, a, a more formalized program in the future. But I think it's, it's critical for us to, you know, not just wait for that next 3 on one call. We just need to let these, these irresponsible pet owners know that we're watching them and we want them to come into compliance. But if, if they don't, we're going we're gonna to issue citations and be a little more forceful with them because uh, the safety is uh, too important to the neighborhoods. Most of the dogs ACS is checking in on aren't registered as aggressive or dangerous. But Shannon says this program will help them check in with dangerous dog owners more often. The city does annual compliance checks for those dogs. But this new program actually takes it a little step further that we're going to actually go out more than once a year if it's if it's deemed dangerous, but also on anybody that has those multiple repeat offenses, uh, we're going to go there as well. So for dangerous dog owners, they will see that frequency increase. Absolutely, yes. You can watch this full interview with Shannon on our YouTube page. Jordan goes more in depth on several stories we brought you recently, including owners not following up on sterilization mandates and potential changes to city code.